find the value of a given integral. Definitely it's integration by parts with u is x squared minus 5 and v prime is e to the power of x. Then u derivative is uh, just 2 times x and v is integral of e to the power of x and it's e to the power of x. And it is equal to this product. It's x squared minus 5 multiplied by e to the power of x and minus integral of this product. So minus integral of 2 times x times e to the power of x dx. And it's, a, it's again integration by parts with u is 2 times x, v prime is e to the power of x, u derivative is just 2, and v is e to the power of x integral of e to the power of x. And it is equal to this x squared minus 5 multiplied by e to the power x and minus this product 2 times x times e to the power of x and minus integral of this product and together with this minus it becomes plus integral 2 times e x dx and it just what 2 times e x and plus some constant. We can see that there is a common factor e to the power of x, so it can be rewritten as x squared minus 2x negative 5 plus 2, it's uh, uh, minus 3, and multiplied by e to the power of x, and plus some constant. The next. Consider the differential equation. Question B, by solving the differential equation, shows that its solution can be expressed in the form, and it is given in a data booklet that such a differential equation, derivative of y plus something of x times y plus is equal to something of x, can be solved using an integrating factor. And the integrating factor is equal to e to the power integral of this dx. And hence, here it becomes, we can rewrite it that derivative, derivative dy over dx plus y is equal to x squared minus 5, hence integrating factor is e to the power of integral this, you can see that it's just 1 dx, and it's, it becomes what? Just e to the power of x. Then we multiply each term by this integrating factor, so it becomes e to the power of x dy over dx plus e to the power of x times y is x squared minus 5 multiplied by e to the power of x. And the left-hand side becomes, and it's always true that it's uh, an integrating factor, e to the power of x multiplied by y, and is equal to the right-hand side. And then, derivative of something is equal to some uh, function of x, and hence this uh, is equal to integral of this or integral integral on both sides, integral of derivative is directly this, and hence, uh, hence e to the power of x times y is equal to e integral of x squared minus 5 times e to the power of x dx. And using the previous result, it becomes e to the power of x times y is x squared minus 2x minus 3 multiplied by e to the power of x plus constant and dividing each term by e to the power of x and multiplying each term by e to negative x we get that it becomes y is x squared minus 2x minus 3 plus constant multiplied by e to negative x and it's a required general solution. The next Sketch the curve of a particular solution which passes through the point negative 3, 2 for x from negative 4 to 4, clearly labeling the coordinates of any local maximum and minimum points. So, uh, since the uh, coordinates of a point are given, we can find the constant to get a particular solution. So, general solution is y is x squared minus uh, 2x minus 3 plus uh, constant multiplied by e to negative x and substituting 2 
for y and negative 3 for x, we get that it becomes 9 plus 6 minus 3 plus c times e to the power of 3. So it's what 12, so it's negative 10 is c times e to the power of 3. So c is negative 10 divided by e cubed or negative 10 multiplied by e to negative 3. And hence a particular solution becomes x squared minus 2x minus 3 plus or actually minus 10 e to negative 3 times e to negative x. It's not necessary but we can rewrite as e to negative x minus 3 and just using a calculator function is x squared minus 2x minus 3 minus 10 e to negative x minus 3 window x from negative 4 to 4 and y uh, let it be from negative 10 to 10 and the graph and you can see that it looks like this and we need uh, uh, local ma uh, minimum local maximum points and let's find maximum left bound right bound and guess and you can see that it's negative 2.70 and uh, 2.28 two, uh, to three significant figures and minimum So it's uh, 0 0.899 and negative 4.19 to three significant figures. So it looks like this. The next. Consider the family of curves that are solutions of the differential equation. The tangent at x is negative 3 is drawn for each of these curves. Question D by considering uh, the curve which passes through the point negative 3p and the curve which passes through the point negative 3q where p is not equal to q shows that all these tangents intersect at a common point and state its coordinates. An idea is the next. Since p and q are arbitrary chosen for x is negative 3 and uh, uh, we can find an equation of a tangent at negative 3p, then equation of a tangent uh, at negative 3q, and then we can find the point of intersection of two tangents, and if uh, this point of intersection is independent of uh, uh, p and q, it means that all uh, tangents at x is negative 3 will intersect at the same point which uh, coordinates should be found. So let's find equation equation over tangent at negative 3p and equation over tangent as any straight line is what mx plus c. It's another c. Let's write uh, another constant. Let it be b and gradient of a tangent is equal to what? Derivative at a point where it is drawn. So it's derivative at negative 3p. And where is derivative? It's here. And it's not necessary to differentiate y. Why? Uh, because it is given directly that derivative is uh, x squared minus y minus 5. x squared minus y minus 5. So gradient of a tangent becomes mm. 
gradient is equal to derivative at negative 3 and p so substituting negative 3 for x and p for y we get that it becomes negative 3 squared it's uh, 9 minus y which is p and minus 5 so it's uh, 4 minus 4 minus p and hence an equation of a tangent becomes uh, 4 minus p multiplied by x and plus some constant and to find the constant we need any point on our line our tangent and we can use negative 3 p as a point because it's this point belongs to our tangent and substituting p for y and negative 3 for x And we get that it becomes p is negative 12 plus 3p plus b. So minus 2p plus 12 is b. Hence equation of a tangent becomes y is 4 minus p multiplied by x and minus 2p plus 12. and equation of a tangent at negative 3 q you may notice that there will be absolutely the same but q instead of p uh, for same uh, gradient but q instead of p and hence uh, you will get 4 minus q and substituting q for y and negative 3 uh, for x uh, you will get that uh, this constant will be what negative 2 times q plus 12 hence you may do it again as you like but it's not necessary because it will be absolutely the same but q instead of p so 4 minus q rex times uh, x minus 2q plus 12 and hence the point point of intersection of tangents is it's uh, simultaneous it's simultaneous equations it's not necessary to rewrite but let's rewrite and y is y is we can just what equate the right hand sides Hence, uh, for and let's expand for x minus p, x uh, minus 2p plus 12 is for x minus q times x minus 2q plus 12, and you can see that 12 cancels uh, for x cancels, and we can factor out negative p here so it becomes negative p times x plus 2 is equal to negative q times x plus 2 but as p is not equal to q inequality can be only when this is 0 and this is also 0 so x is negative 2 and you can see that it's independent of uh, P or Q and it's uh, actually is required x coordinate of a point of intersection and let's find 
y coordinate just substitute negative uh, to 4x L uh, let it be uh, the first so it becomes 4 rex which is which is uh, negative 2 minus p times negative 2 or plus 2p minus 2p plus 12 and you can see that uh, 2p cancels and we get that it becomes negative 8 uh, plus 12 so it's 4 and therefore all tangents at x is negative 3 intersect or actually we can write uh, that uh, since uh, coordinates of a point of intersection are independent of p and q therefore all tangents at x is negative 3 intersect intersect at negative 2 and that's all for this question